Beautiful, out-of-season flowers grow all around the stone monument. To the north, you can see the buildings of the town. It looks a little like Spielberg, yet also very different in some undefinable way. Yeah. To the north, you can see... Um, I guess we'll just head north. You! How did you get here? Through the gates? Why are you here? Few strangers come to Mordavia. I am the Burgomeister. It is my job to know everyone and everything that goes on here. The Burgomeister stares at you suspiciously. You tell the Burgomeister about how you came here. Do you expect me to believe such a story? That you could walk out of that cave alive? Yeah. That the cave would be open? Tell me no more lies. My name is Dmitry Ivanov. I am the Burgomeister of this town. Mordavia is a well is surrounded by mountains. <laughs> there used to be a road which led from here, but heavy rains have created a swamp at the base of the mountain south of here. No wagons can get you in or out, nor can any person, except perhaps you. This is the town of Mordavia. There is an inn and a shop down the street where you can spend the night or get some supplies and be on your way. The sooner you leave, the better for all. There are many dangers in Mordavia. Awesome. And we certainly do not need a stranger to stir up new troubles. What if I make troubles go away? I'm pretty good at that. I don't know if you've heard of me. I'm a prince. The Hotel Mordavia has I have hair of sunshine. It is safe place to spend the and night. And big biceps. Uh, the shop does not carry much. We have been cut off from supplies for a while now. Still, you may at least restock your food rations before you continue with your travels. Okay. Thank you. There are many strange and dangerous creatures that live in Mordavia. Trust nothing. The gates of this town are closed at sunset. Do not let yourself get caught outside after dark, for few can survive a Mordavian night or remain sane enough to speak of it. Mordavian nights, like Mordavian days, more often than not, are spookier than spook in a lot of good ways. I didn't rhyme, I'm sorry. I'm not good at a shit. Just leave Mordavia quickly. No good comes from outsiders, and we do not want you here. That's so mean. Knock knock, who's there? Are you just sightseeing or casing my place? What a rude question. The old adventurer's guild is at the north end of town. It has been abandoned for many years, since we have not had many adventurers who could cross the swamp. Seeing as you are supposed to be an adventurer, here, have a key to the guild door. Ow. Perhaps you can find some of use there. Everyone in Mordavia minds his own business and does not go looking for trouble. You obviously do not fit in well here. It's very judgmental, you know. To be honest, I do not trust you. What you say of yourself is unbelievable. And what you do around here seems likely to get you in trouble. If the pass was clear, I would ask you to leave Mordavia. As things are, I will be watching you closely. Okay. To the northwest of town is Castle Borgov. It used to be owned by the Borgov boyars of Mordavia. But the last Borgov died years back, and no one came to take his place. Some strangers moved in some years back, but they have had nothing to do with the town, and we have had nothing to do with them. 
The old road from town used to meet with the road from the castle and head south to the pass. The heavy rains not only created the swamp, but caused so much plant growth you can't see the road anymore. The swamp is a dangerous and foul place. They say that all who ever were buried beneath the earth there now reach up to drag the living to their deaths. Ew. I have seen for myself that this is true. You didn't help them? Stay far from the swamp if you value your safety. Okay. There are other things in Mordavia to see and do, but I am not a tour guide here. Go off and see for yourself. Be careful. The gates of the town are locked at night, so be sure to return before it gets dark. It's dangerous to be out after sunset. Stay out of trouble if you have any brains. Okay, I'll be good, I promise. Stay out of trouble and other people's business, and you and I will get along with one another. Otherwise, you will get me angry. I'm sure you don't want to make me angry, do you? Guess not. From the sign reading Burgermeister's office, you cleverly deduce that the Burgermeister works here. Mm -hmm. It's been years since you studied Mordavian, but you think that Burgermeister might be the word for mayor, or perhaps sheriff. The sign reads, General Store. You wonder how much of a commission the salespeople get. The sign simply reads, In. I guess that means you should go in. Hee <laughs> hee. Ho ho. Tee hee. Such funnies. Detail up, speed up, yeah. That's a little too much speed. Let's take it down a peg. Oops, cancel. Kitties everywhere. This general store is cheery and well lit, thanks to the warm heart. The first things that you notice are the cats. They seem to be everywhere. Then you see the shopkeeper, sitting on her rocking chair as she knits. She's a very, well, uh, sturdy looking woman. So, you're the stranger in town. <laughs> I've heard all about you already. How? Hello. You're polite, aren't you? And manners are as manners do, as my husband used to say. We'll see. <laughs> you can call me Olga. Mrs. Stovich is uh, too formal after all. We don't welcome strangers here. They bring nothing but trouble. All the same, it's good to see a new face again. Um, let me see, what could you use? Well, besides my regular items like brooms and pens, I uh, really don't have anything else for adventurers like yourself. Sandwiches you can use for rations. And garlic, of course you need garlic. I've also got some oil you can use to keep the weapons and armor from rusting. Mm. And if you like sweets, I've got some yummy homemade candy. Although the garlic flavor ones have all been purchased by now. I'll have to uh, make some more. Oh, and the shopping bag to carry things in. I have a couple of those left. Thank you. Three twists of candy will cost you just five kopecks. <laughs> the kids love him. Oh, now garlic is a must-have item. It's just 25 kopecks for a bun, and it will add flavor to any food. I love garlic. Storekeeper looks around nervously for a moment, then continues. You know, some say garlic also has medicinal and protective properties. My husband 
always said I make the most interesting sandwiches. They're very good. You know, the voice and acting I is actually pretty good in this game. There are games that are modern in our current decade, or within the last couple years, that have a lot worse voice acting. So, despite the bad audio quality, it's really not that bad. The shopping bag costs 50 kopecks. It is very useful for carrying your purchases or uh, other large things. It's pretty expensive for a bag. A flask of household oil will cost you 100 kopecks. It's good for door streaks and can also be used to loosen up rusty wagon wheels. I can sell you a very nice large pie pan for 250 kopecks. <laughs> I've always admired the men who can cook. You can purchase the hand broom for 350 kopecks. I'm sure you'll really clean up with it. What would you like to know about? Yeah, Bella's a good woman. She's the one who really runs the inn. Her husband just gives orders. Someday she'll give Yuri a piece of her mind and good for her. <laughs> the things she puts up with. Bella. She was a pretty woman not long ago. Was not called Bella for nothing. Lucy, her only child, real aged. What a tragedy. The castle north of town was abandoned for many years. Then, some strangers moved in four years ago. No one knows what goes on there now. But it won't be for the good, I'll tell you. There's a random question. Hey, how about them werewolves? Werewolves are gypsies. No question about it. Not sure if racist? at night, eating anyone they can get. Nothing can kill a werewolf but silver or magic. So you be careful out in the woods at night, you hear me? The gypsy camp is not at all that far from here. Hmm. And that is a bad place, and you'd better have nothing to do with it. It is dangerous. It should have been torn down long ago. Many a stranger never came back after asking questions about it. So don't let your curiosity be the death of you. Yes, ma'am. Maybe, ma'am. Yeah, my husband and myself had run this shop for many, many years. My husband uh, passed on now, but I keep it just the way he liked it. A well-run shop is a busy shop, he always used to say. Not very busy anymore, what with the swamp. But I try to keep it going the best I can. Mostly housewives, but a few items that uh, might interest you. Kopecks do we have? There's no bargaining in this game. Avocado and garlic sandwiches. I love avocado and garlic, but perhaps not only avocado and garlic together. <laughs> well, it's nice meeting you, ma'am. You have a good day. You be careful. We don't need you going around stirring up trouble after all. I've got enough as it is. If you do find something interesting, you let me know, of course, won't you?
The cozy cat conveys a calmness most common in comfortable confine. The cozy... Okay. Goodbye. Or, as my dear departed Boris used to say, may the wind blow fair at your back. Thank you. Rented a small but nicely furnished country inn. The stairs lead up to the guest bedrooms. The floor is covered with sawdust and peanut shell. The barrel contains the few shells that managed to land. <laughs> the innkeeper stares at you with an expression of fear and astonishment. It is several seconds before he speaks. This is the Hotel Mordavia. Rooms here are 15 kopecks for room and board. Pay for one week in advance. Your room would be the first to Sorry for eating the noises. The gross. Uh, when you want food in the morning or evening, just sit down over there by the door. Pay the innkeeper for your room and board. Thank you for your payment. You're welcome. I don't really have a choice though. They stare at you in astonishment. You say you are a hero. Well, we will judge you here by your actions rather than your words. Fair enough. Magic is a very dangerous thing. We do not trust those who use or are used by magic. Make certain you do not give us any more cause for alarm. The Hotel Mordavia has been in my family for generations. It is the only place to be when darkness falls at night. Everything else is closed, and even we lock the doors. You must knock <clears throat> if you wish to come in. My name is Yuri Markarov. My wife's name is Bella. We are the owners of this inn. If you climb the stairs, your room is the first door on the right. The doors of the inn close before nightfall, so make sure you are always back before sunset. Make certain you are back in town before dusk. The gates of the town will close solidly, keep out any dangers. The Burgomeister is the mayor of the town. You will be wise to listen to what he says and stay out of trouble. Yeah, I got that. Like, from every single person I've talked to so far. There Oops. is not much for sale at the shop next door, but you may find something you need there. I bought everything. The monastery is to the north of here. It has been abandoned for many, many years, but it has a bad reputation. No one in town will go near it. And if you have any sense, neither will you. There are many ill things that roam this valley by night. Make certain that you never have to meet them. Never venture into the forest by night. Can't tell me what to do. You can control me. I am Hans. Pleasure's all yours. I'm a farmer of pumpkins and corn and a person of great importance here in lovely Mordavia. Listen, I'm telling you, Igor's death must be avenged. Pleased to meet you. I'm Ivan, an elephant herder. I have a feeling... Fortunately, there are no more elephants in Mordavia, so... That the dialogue messed up a bit there. I have a feeling that it was not supposed to be those two pieces of dialogue together. <laughs> Guys, is it just me or is Mordavia a wonderful place? Oh, are you kidding? It's the greatest. There's many places to go, things to see. Are you kidding? Right. Let's not forget that scenic cemetery to the east of town. Everyone here is nothing but grins. Real friendly. 
Yeah, except we don't know you. We don't like strangers. Or anyone else that's weird and doesn't belong. Rumors? You talking to me? What rumors? Huh. There are no rumors here. That's a lie. Unless you count the rumor that the castle is owned by... Horse Patootie. There are no rumors in Mordavia to speak of. The town of Mordavia is a quiet place. Filled with friendly, joyful, stinky people. Well, I'm not so sure about the friendly part. We tend to be very suspicious of strangers like you. Awesome. Yeah, well, anyway, the town is filled with joyful and stinky people. Yeah, happy, joyful, and stinky people. Well, I wouldn't call us particularly joyful. As a matter of fact, most of us are pretty glum. Oh, very well, all right, then Mordavia is filled with people, you know, stinky ones. Yeah, many stinky people. What's well, wrong with your exactly eyes, man? Call it many. There actually aren't very many of us around here. Oh, forget it. Well, at least he stinks. This dead. You say you. Okay, apparently. Oops. The first door at the top of the stairs leads to your room. My wife will serve My you wife. in the evening. Good to know. I'm gonna go do some other shit though for now. So, peace. As you enter the northern part of the town, you hear the sound of a chisel chipping away at a stone block. A man is carving gravestones at one end of the street. Your attention quickly moves from the stone carver to the ominous gothic building in the center of the street. Ooh. There is definitely something not right about this structure. A sense of great danger and hunger comes from near the door of the massive stone building. Sounds harmless. This is a bas relief of a strange creature. It looks like an octopus with only six tentacles. You have a creepy feeling as if it is looking right back at you. That's scary. There is an indentation near the middle of the shadowed door. It looks like a set of six curved spokes radiating out from a central point. From the hump on his back to his twisted body, this is either the Hunchback of Notre Dame, a mad scientist lab assistant, a grave digger, or an Elvis impersonator. I don't understand that last one. This weather-beaten boarded-up door once sported a painted sign, but you can no longer read it. 